Hello and welcome to the Lake Oroville update for August 2024. The water level at California's second largest reservoir is 842 feet, 3 inches above mean sea level. July was one of the hottest months on record for Northern California, significantly increasing the demand on Lake Oroville. As a result, the reservoir has declined by an incredible 41 feet since our last update. The current elevation is 200 feet above minimum power pool and 57 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. This week, we're taking a look at Lake Oroville and its declining water levels. It's summertime, and we expect Lake Oroville to lose water during this hot and dry season. But this year, we are seeing something different. The rate that Oroville is currently losing water is very concerning and may lead to complicated situations later this year. We'll start today's episode with an overview of Lake Oroville's water level statistics. Next, we compare this year's water level declines to last year's water level declines. Then, we take a look at a potentially dangerous algae bloom in the Oroville Thermolito complex. There's a lot to discuss today, but before we get started, please do me a favor, hit that like button. Tell me what's up in the comments section, this is Time Bomb. Let's get started. The current water elevation of 842 feet is 37 feet above the 805 foot average water level for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Oroville was recorded on February 11, 2017, at 902 and a half feet. The record low for the reservoir was set on September 30th, 2021, when the water level declined to 628 feet 8 inches. The current capacity of the Oroville Reservoir is 2,607,000 acre feet. The average capacity for this date is 2,257,000 acre feet. The record low for the reservoir was set on September 30th, 2021 at 787,000 acre feet. That's only 22.5% of full pool capacity. Full capacity, also referred to as full pool, has recently been reduced from 3.5 to just over 3.4 million acre feet. Lake Oroville's current capacity of 2,607,000 acre feet is 76% of the reservoir's full pool capacity. This is a chart of Lake Oroville's water level for the 2024 water year, which began on October 1st, 2023. At the start of the water year, Lake Oroville's water elevation was at 833 feet. The water level then declined to a low point of 811 feet 6 inches on December 17th. Thanks to last winter's substantial precipitation, the water level rose to a peak of 899 feet 8 inches, or just shy of the reservoir's full pool elevation. However, since reaching that peak, Lake Oroville's water level has been steadily declining. While declining water levels during the summer months is expected, due to higher temperatures and increased demand for hydropower, what stands out this year is the rate of this decline. This is a chart of Lake Oroville's water level for the 2023 water year. From July until the end of the water year on September 30th, 2023, Lake Oroville was losing water at a rate of 8.5 inches per day. Now let's switch back to the chart from this year, the 2024 water year. This year, since the beginning of July, Lake Oroville has been losing water at an alarming rate of 1 foot 2 inches per day. This year's rate of water level declines is 60% higher than it was last year. Here is a chart of inflows to Lake Oroville. You can see these huge spikes from major storms that hit the area in January and February. But in mid-May, inflows started to taper off, and by early June, inflows fell below 5,000 cubic feet per second, where it remains today. Oh, and this trough here is the July 1st sediment adjustment. The current rate of inflow is bouncing somewhere between 2,500 and 3,500 cubic feet per second. Now let's take a look at outflows from Oroville Dam. Here we see some large spikes throughout the winter season. 
These spikes and outflows were when the dam operators were making room in the reservoir for flood control purposes due to impending storms. Then we have another series of spikes and outflows in May, when Lake Oroville was approaching full pool capacity and dam operators were making adjustments to outflows to try to capture as much of that snow melt water as possible. Then in early July, outflows increased back over 10,000 cubic feet per second. And today outflows are somewhere between 8,000 and 15,000 cubic feet per second. So we have very low inflow into Lake Oroville and very high outflows due to the high temperatures and increased demand for electricity. All of this points to water levels at Lake Oroville continuing to, de to decline at its current rate, at least for the next few weeks. That means all of the water level gains from the 2024 water year will be completely wiped out within the next three or four weeks. The California Department of Water Resources environmental scientists are actively monitoring blue-green algae and their toxins in the Oroville Thermolito complex. During the summer months, scientists regularly collect samples of water from various locations around the complex and send them to a lab for toxin analysis. Currently, there are no harmful algae bloom advisories for the Lake Oroville, the Thermolito Forebay, or the Thermolito Afterbay, but monitoring is still ongoing and blooms could form at any time. So these scientists are looking for blue-green algae. Blue-green algae are natural parts of ecosystems. However, this year's warmer temperatures in Northern California allow algae to grow more rapidly and cause blooms. These blooms sometimes produce toxins harmful to people and animals. Algae blooms can turn the water green, blue, or even brown. Seeing colors, mats, foam, scum, or paint-like streaks in the water may indicate a bloom. The Department of Water Resources suggests keeping animals and children away from the water when a bloom is suspected and report it immediately to the California Regional Water Quality Control Board. If elevated levels of toxins are detected, the California Department of Water Resources staff will collaborate with California's Regional Water Quality Control Board and recreational man area managers to notify the public and post advisory signs like this one at affected bodies of water. Please keep an eye out for them. You do not want you or your family or your pets in the area when there's an algae bloom. Hey guys, be safe. That's all I have for this episode. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.